Hello everyone, my name is Robbie, also known as the Humble Gamer, and I know it's rather strange for me to introduce myself by my real name, because I don't normally do it, but um, I kind of want to introduce myself today for the purpose of this video, because as you can probably already tell by the title, it's an update video, which is something I don't do very often. Um, in fact, the last time I remember making an update video for this channel was February of last year, which I don't even remember what I said during the course of that video, but um, I have some rather, you know, important things, some thoughts I'd like to get out, and an update video like this is, is perfect for that. Um, the footage you're actually seeing is supposed to be part three of Portal Nights, and I will get into um, what's going on with that. Um, as well as all the other things I'm going to talk about. But uh, I think first things first, I'd like to start with how I've been feeling. Um, now, I'm not someone who seeks attention or likes to make people feel sympathy for my situation, but I like people to be in the know. Um, and even for the few people that do watch my videos, I want you to be in the know about what is going on with me currently. So... Um, the biggest thing is is that I have been rather ill the last month. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I have been pretty ill on and off constantly. Um, and it's put me into mood swings and it's put me in a position where I am just no longer capable of um, giving anywhere near decent commentary or making anywhere near decent content. Um, I was super stoked about playing through Portal Knights, but I think I'm going to probably end up not carrying on that series. I have six episodes recorded, two are out, the other four are, uh, of course, well this is supposed to be part three you're seeing right now. Um, I don't know whether I'll ever finish them or put them up, but I've got the commentary uh, tracks along with the video tracks, so maybe one day I'll put them out. But... Um, yeah, that, that leads me smoothly, I hope, into um, how I want to go ahead in future. I had a lot of ideas for things I wanted to do um, on my channel, like the Pi Day thing. I only just started it. I do want to make Pi Day a, a thing that I, I actually do. Um, but due to how I've been feeling, you know, there's a lot of things I'm going to have to rethink. And, and Pi Day is one of those. Um, Pi Day is, is not a series that is hard to make because it's once a week and I only have to pick a random game to pick up and play for a little while um, but the general idea of what I wanted it to be is changing constantly in my mind one minute I'm thinking perhaps I'd like it to be a review series where I play a game and, and sort of talk about the game um, and, and where it came from and, and all that good stuff and other times I'm thinking I just want it to be a series like what part one was, which is just playing games I've not played before or not played that much of, um, and actually getting a proper opportunity to, to dig into them, um, you know, and perhaps even falling in love with, with new games that I've never played before. That was sort of my general first idea for the series, and um, I, think, I think the first episode really, um, really shows that. I think, anyway. I don't know if that comes across to anybody else when they watch episode one, but um, I'll, I'll see in the future about making more Pi Day episodes. I just don't know how I feel about that right now, uh, considering how I f feel uh, mentally and physically drained um, and have done for quite a while. Um, I mean, it's it's not it's not just simple illness, um, you know. I, again, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it, it it's made me feel extremely drowsy, um, and and it's just brought on a whole spiel of other problems that have uh, essentially made it difficult for me to be anywhere near excitable when I make videos. You know, I'm excited one moment, and then the next moment I start recording, and I'm just drowsy and. It doesn't make for good commentary or or, or video, to be honest. Um, it, I think it's been extremely noticeable in my recent videos in the last month or so that I've just been extremely tired um, and drowsy. Um, when I was with my brother in the episodes, um, in the Game of Shenanigans videos I did with him, um, they were pretty good. Um, but, but even when I was with him, I didn't really feel that well. So 
it, it's been it, it's been a while that I've been suffering with this problem. Oh, sorry, I'm scraping the microphone stand. Um, it's been a while that I've been suffering with this problem, and I just you know I I, I need some time I think to uh, to just not be on YouTube. Um, and this is this is where the whole thing really comes down to with this video actually is is that I want to say I'd like to stop now I, I've I've been making content on YouTube since 2011 and even though most of that isn't viewable because my old channel and all my content on it is private um, I still you know that experience and that time you know is still there I still did that so it still counts to me you know and that means i've been doing this for six years now you know making content on youtube and that's a long time for someone to be actively you know focusing on youtube and i'm not completely dumb i know that youtube has been dying for a very long time and i know that you know it's it's turning into a real shithole you know slowly but surely and and people are stopping posting as much there's a whole bunch of issues arising and when those issues seem to be fixed even more issues arise and you know i i've never cared all that much about those things because i'm not trying to be popular on youtube so i don't care about the ag uh, algorithms or the ad sense or anything like that because none of that really affects me and what i'm trying to do but it's still you know it, it it does make me very aware that there's only certain kinds of content that are respected on youtube anymore by viewers and my content, I don't feel, is is the kind of content um, that, that people watching YouTube videos respects anymore. And while that still doesn't affect me all that much, um, it, it does make me feel like perhaps um, what I'm doing should not be something I do regularly, but something I just do when I absolutely 100% feel like it's something I want to do. Because for a long time now, I've been pushing myself to do it just because, you know, why not? I can do series, I can, you know, do this, that and the other, I've got my emula uh, emulators and stuff, you know, I, I can do all this stuff, but, you know, do I want to do it, that's the real question, oh, I've got a message on my phone, um, <laughs> uh, you know, do I want to do it, um, and the answer is no, quite frankly, I, I don't, I don't want to do it anymore, um, I'd like to, I'd like to stop at this point, you know, the only thing putting me off is, is unfinished series, as it were. There are a few various things that I would like to finish. Like, I would actually like to uh, perhaps go back to uh, Plants vs. Zombies and finish that series off at some point. I've still got the save file from where I left off on that series. I could go back and finish it one day. You know, I'd like to uh, finish Ukulele, you know, but perhaps... Um, and this is an idea I had for Breath of the Wild as well. Breath of the Wild, I, I you know, we all know what happened with that. Um, but, you know, if you don't, I stopped playing it because it, I just could, could not bring myself to, to play in such small sessions like I was. I was, I was playing like an hour a day. Um, and because I needed days to edit videos as well, I was even skipping days playing it sometimes. So, so I was getting an hour every two days. And that just wasn't enough. There were people finishing the game within the first few days. And I just, I wanted to just play through the game, just blast through it and, and just have a blast. Um, and I couldn't do that while Let's Playing it. So I just, I cut, I cut it. I said, no, I'm not doing it anymore. Um, I'll do it another time, you know, when I have played the game and finished it, maybe a year from now, I don't know. Um, and I still think that perhaps I might do that. You know, but but like I said, it it just depends how I feel. I, I'm starting to think now that perhaps, you know, doing YouTube just isn't really the kind of thing that I want to spend my free time doing anymore. I'd like to, if I'm going to play video games in my free time, I'm, I want to do it just having fun. You know, like the good old days when I wasn't focused on YouTube. You know, just just play video games and have fun with it, and not have to worry about making videos with it. You know, because who am I doing it for, really? Just myself at this point. So, you know, that's that's a thing. Um, other things that I'd like to finish would be um, just a few various little things. Like um, I, I wanted to uh, do a speed run of Portal at some point just to finish off the Portal playlist because I'm never doing Portal 2 on video. 
but you know uh, portal one was such a disappointment to me i just wanted to fix that by doing a, a playthrough you know just a quick speed run it's not a very quick uh, a very um it's not it's not a very long game so uh you know i, I thought i could do that i could speed run it and it'd only take a 50 minutes you know it's a it's a long video somewhat but it's it's doable um i had these ideas for doing reviews on youtube which um didn't really turn out so well uh and i mean to be honest i was just sort of um writing script after script after script and scrapping them all and and never really getting a full finished script i was happy with so reviews sort of never worked out for me though i would have loved it to because i would have liked to start doing reviews on my channel i i have a few games i have actually 100 percent completed that i could properly um do reviews of um but because reviews are so well done anyway on youtube like so many people do reviews of the games that i've played there's no point in doing reviews of them unless they're personal kind of like john tron's unique style but you know i i don't really have that kind of um charm i don't think i don't think i could make a review that's that that good but um is something that i've tried uh i think in terms of uh what i want to do now in the future with this channel i'd like to leave it for a, a little while i'd like to i'd like to stop here i think um this is this is a good time for me to you know just just put it all away just just let it sit at the side and leave what i've got there because there's there's over 300 videos on my channel you know and i think that's incredible the, the fact that, you know, I've only got roughly 30 videos that are unlisted. And, and most of those unlisted videos are linked somewhere on my channel. Um, so, you know, I think I've got about 350 videos that you can access via my channel. That's a lot of content for two and a half years. That's a lot of content. <laughs> and, and a lot of that is very good content that I'm quite proud of. So I'm really happy with, you know, what I have done. And, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm unhappy that i you know that i feel this way because years ago i was so excited and happy about the idea of doing stuff on youtube when i first got my capture card i was so absolutely ecstatic because you know i, I remember i was just like i can finally record myself playing games on the console you know i, I don't have a very good pc you know but now i can play games like banjo kazooie on the console and i tried and i tried and i tried and i failed and i failed and i failed and then i finally made this channel and i finally set my foot f I, I finally put my foot down and i said this is it i'm doing it i played through banjo kazooie i beat it i played through banjo tui i beat it i did various other series with various people i included my family in my videos i have my dad playing with me my brother my friend from college uh, all these things and and i'm very happy about this but at this point i'm just you know I'm, I'm beyond um actually being excitable about youtube anymore and i think it's time that i stopped and just just let it go so in terms of content in the future i'll pr i might make some more stuff in the future um ukulele i'm going to stop where it is I will, if I let's play it in the future, I will, um, I will not start it again. I will try my best to get back to where I was and then um, continue from there. Um, I'm, I think actually I might be able to copy a file um, and save the file I've got. If not, I might just start a new file, keep the file I've got for future because there's three file save spaces on there. So I'll try my best to make sure I can keep that file for later use if ever I want to continue the let's play. Um, but it won't be blind. Breath of the Wild, I would like to at least do videos of the DLC as they come out this year. Because that means I don't have to worry about any sort of walkthroughs or let's plays of it. I can just do videos of the, the DLC stuff. Maybe show off those flying platform things they're going to put chests and enemies on when that comes out later in the year. Um, and as for like the mentioning of Plants vs Zombies... Um, I'm, I'm going to leave that where it is actually, I think. Because I, I don't want to... I don't want to bother with with carrying on that game. It's been over a year now since I did my last episode of it. I'm I'm not bothered anymore, you know. But I've still got the save file if ever I actually do feel like going back and doing the rest of it. Um, 
otherwise there's still the pie day videos which um i'll 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 maybe do one a fortnight if not one a month just to you know if i feel like it i'll do one i'll do them when i feel like it um and and just post them whenever the next available friday is after i've made them so you know it's, i don't overburden myself um and the gaming shenanigans videos will continue um just sort of the same way whenever i feel like making one i'll make one so i think this channel is basically just going to become a um you know if i feel like it i'll do it channel from now on um so that's about it really that's all of the information i really needed to get out and say um there's not really anything else on my list uh yeah there's there's not really anything else on my list um the only other thing to talk about right now is a website that i want to shill <laughs> if you will uh called backloggery it's been around since I think 2004 and I only found it a few days ago via some friends on Discord. But um, uh, Backloggery is a website where you can keep track of your game collection um, and sort of monitor your progress through your game collection. So you can list every game you own and it, it, it can be sort of a way for you to say, right, I'm going to play this game and I'm going to beat it. And then you can dedicate yourself to beating a game, update your progress as you go on this website. Um, and then when you finish the game, you can set it to a beaten status if you've uh, just beat the main quest in the game and not done everything possible in the game yet. Or if you've done everything possible in the game, you can put it a complete status. If you've done like a master run of the game, like a speed run or glitch run or whatever, you could uh, make it a mastered, uh, you know, give it a little mastered tick next to it. Um, go, I'll, I'll link it in the description. You can go check it out for yourself. It's an absolutely wonderful website, and um, I'll actually what I'll do is I'll link the website itself, and I'll link my personal backloggery, um, which uh, is not quite finished as I'm making this, but it will be finished soon. I will I will have all the games on there that I own, and uh, many many of them are null, um, but the, uh, which means that you know they they don't really have any sort of bearing on. Uh, completion rates and things like that on the site because they're not really completable um you know so games like uh um pac-man <laughs> i just put b on pac-man because pac-man i got to level 15 that's the highest i've ever gotten <laughs> oh actually no that was super mario brothers anyway now enough of that um so uh yeah backloggery check it out that that'll be how you can keep up with if you want to see what i'm actually playing and, and and see what i'm sort of working on um how many achievements i've got in all my games and stuff like that you can you can check that all out on my backloggery keep up with it you know um if you feel like it anyway i just thought i'd mention it and shill it a little because uh they're not sponsoring me or anything but uh i really love that website and i i absolutely am having a, a blast with it because it's really helping me to blast through some of my games that i haven't played before so um that's it that's that's the last thing i needed to mention it's been 18 minutes i hope people watch this all the way through because there's a lot of info important information in here um and I will see you later. Not in whatever I make next, because whatever goes up next on my channel will probably not be something that uh, that I've made after this. Um, after this, I I think um, for a while at least I'm going to be on break. I I think maybe a couple of months. I don't want to do YouTube stuff for a while. Uh, so anything you see will be stuff that I've already made that I'll just, you know, edit when I feel like it. So uh, there you go. Thank you for watching. And I will see you later. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks.